After short castle, bishop g7, c3, knight f6, we finished all the moves. e5, d4, rook e1, queen e2, and uh, queen a4. White can also try to play c3 without short castle. But after c3, first we can play just knight f6, stacking at the e4 pawn, and it will be just transposed to the previous line. After e5, knight d5, short castle, bishop g7, which we have already covered. But it's not so good for white to start with c3 because it gives black additional option, which is to play bishop g7, at d4 and queen a5, strong move. Queen a5 attacking the bishop on b5 and also pinning the c3 pawn, so next move we want to take c4. Now white should give their bishop and after bishop c6, b6, short castle, we can play your knight f6 immediately, we can take cd4, cd4, knight f6 with uh, two bishop advantage, also we have here a b line for our rook, b half open line, so this is also a very interesting option for black. That's why after g6 most of the game were played with short castle, bishop g7 and c3, which we covered in this section.